Hello and thank you for stopping by today to check out my current video. It's about the PineGrow web editor. If you've never heard about it before, I would recommend you check it out. There is like a free version that you can use, like an online version, but they do have a paid version and that's the version that I'm using in this video. You can rent it by the month, you can rent different features, so it can be a lot cheaper or a little bit more expensive if you want full control over everything and I feel it's well worth it. It's just a really great tool. We'll be showing just how many superpowers it has to give you complete control over your HTML and CSS and animation code and also how to publish to Netlify, how to deal with your animations and CSS and some AI tools are built into it as well. So thanks for stopping by and let's go ahead and Hop into the video. Let's take a look at a really awesome web editing tool. It's called PineGrow. I've pulled up the website here and I actually have the tool loaded on this computer system. And we will go ahead and take a look at it. I'll show some of the cool features. And one of the latest things they added was the ability to publish to Netlify. And I just made another video the other day about using Netlify. So if you haven't seen that, you may want to watch that video and come back and check this out. But they made it really easy to publish your sites here to Netlify. I think it's just another really awesome thing about this tool. I'll just spend like one minute looking at this page here and then I'll go into the program and show some of the features and show how to publish our site to Netlify. So what is PineGrow? It's a visual web editor for professionals. It lets you work faster with HTML, CSS, SAS, Bootstrap, Tailwind, GreenSock interactions, WordPress, and WooCommerce. It's available as a desktop app and as a self-hosted WordPress plugin. I'm using the desktop version and it's installed on this computer system. So if we scroll down just a little bit, one of their latest articles that was mentioned is about the new version 7.8 and I'll pull that up for a second. Here we can see on this screen, let me go ahead and get zoomed in. Right down here, you can see publish projects to Netlify and it even mentions it right here at the top, publish projects to Netlify. So we will be taking a look at how to do that just momentarily. So if you're working with HTML pages, WordPress themes, Bootstrap, or Tailwind, you should consider using this tool. I really like how you can have control over everything, every single part of the web page has some control panel or property that you can set. It's really awesome. You can speed up your building of HTML with the visual power tools. And so I do have the full version that I pay for from them. So I get access to some additional tools that you don't get in the more basic version. And I will be covering some of those in other videos. You can style with your CSS, SAS, and less live. Inspect your active CSS rules. Use rich visual control, CSS grid editor, dev tools, like editor or code, all working together. And in the first project that I'm going to show briefly, it is using Bootstrap 5.3. And there's a special control panel for that which makes it really easy to edit the properties. There's also a Tailwind visual editor, a fully featured GUI for Tailwind CSS projects, and I will more than likely talk about that in a different video. There's just so much to go through. I don't wanna make this video too long. And this is another really cool feature that I'll show here in just a minute. Editing and testing your page on all device sizes at once so you can have these different pages open like they're showing here and select the different responsive widths and show them at the same time so as you make changes in one it's reflected in the other. 
they have these components master pages and the project like what I have open in my editor a CMS mode I mean it just goes on there there's so many really awesome things if you've never heard of the tool and you want to design web pages or maybe you're just starting out it's great to get started with and helps ease you into the more detailed part of creating web pages or doing prototypes or mock-ups so let's go ahead and minimize this for now and here is the web editor there's two screens I have open here the first is what it looks like when you just open it the first time and because I have created one project called pine grow it shows up here but all your projects would normally show up here in this pane if you wanted to create a new project this is where it can save you a ton of time if I click on new project it has all of these different types of tutorials that you can start with or sample code and CSS bootstrap tailwind so like here I have bootstrap five blocks selected and we can see there's several examples here and there's some tags that tell you if it's bootstrap if it's multi-page is uh, if it can be customized with a design panel if I click on say tailwind CSS blocks then we can see the examples or template code for using tailwind and so there's all these other options depending on what you're looking for materialize there's some examples or starter templates for that which again this can save you so much time to jump start a project or just to be learning but since I've already created a project then I'm just gonna go ahead and minimize this and I probably won't open this again so here I maximize the pine grow web editor and I know it looks like it's a ton of information here but there are a lot of different panels and this is like the preview window where you can choose the size the responsive width that you want it to be and if you want to open a new one you click on this little plus sign here and you can add a new page view so I have two page views here and as I click on things in the left side you can see it selects it in the right side so as you're making changes to the page it transmits the same information and you can see what it looks like in a mobile view or more of a tablet view or even a desktop view you can change the size of these panels and I really like that ability where you can see multiple different sizes at the same time we have all these other options and panels but for now I just want to go ahead and show the publish to Netlify before we talk about anything else so if I go up here and click on this little button here project it's going to show my project which is this Pine Grove agency and if I click here and right click on the top level node and click on publish so here is the publish to Netlify and if it's your first time there are some different buttons here that you have to click on now I'm already logged into Netlify in the background in a web browser so that's already been opened and I'm gonna go ahead and just publish a new site or create a new site here so I'll click on create new so there I typed in the site name Scott's YT Pine Grow site now because I've already hooked up my Netlify account and it's really easy I'll actually include a link to the article that you can read that will walk you through the steps it just takes a few seconds really once you're logged into your Netlify you create a personal access token and there's even a button within this wizard that will take you to that screen and then you can create it you copy and paste it into here and you're basically good to go so now I'll click create so it's created the site on Netlify called Scott's YT Pine Grow site and you can see the URL right there now I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish 
So this publishes the project to the target site on Netlify. And as it says here, all content of the site will be replaced. You can roll back to a previous version in the Netlify admin panel if you did something wrong or didn't mean to do it. So I'm going to click publish. And this is real time. You can see it published it in like one second. And then you can click on view the published site. So let's go ahead and fire that up. Up here you can see the name of the site which matches the name of the site that we created in Netlify. So let's go ahead and make a change and then republish it. Let's put in Scott's amazing agency that you are looking for. And I just hit Control S to save it. Let's go ahead and republish it. Again, I'll right click here, say publish. And it's the same URL where we left it. It knows to do that. Go ahead and click publish. And now let's go ahead and visit the published site. There we go. It's the live site up on the internet with my changes and it took again like a second or two I really like how they've made it easier to publish your pine grow pages into Netlify it just saves several steps we're gonna go ahead and close out of that I'm gonna pull up another screen here to show how you can test this stuff locally in your web browser so let me pull up that page here I've pulled up a web browser on in my case it's localhost port 40,002 and once you know that URL that in the background Pinegrow is running a basic web server so that you can actually interact with a site and so like if I can resize this browser and watch how it changes the content based on the size of the web browser so you can check your responsiveness and test your site right here locally on your computer system and it has all that running for you in the background it's just part of pine grow which is another nice thing about it you could keep this open if you wanted to and make your changes and come over here and refresh your page and look at what your changes are well those were just uh, some high level features about pine grow specifically about publishing Netlify. I will make some other videos about Pine Grow in the future. The last feature I wanted to briefly mention was the AI capabilities. I clicked on some text here and then there's a little like wizard icon. If you click on that, you can edit the prompt. And here you can see, hi, I'm your AI assistant. What can I do for you? or you could talk to them if you had a microphone hooked up. The new GPT Turbo 3.5 16K model is now available, suitable for longer prompts and code. And so we have to click down here in the configure, transform layout and content. That's what you're talking about doing here. And if I open up the settings dialog, AI Assistant works with the OpenAI API. You need an OpenAI account and an API key to use it. You would just go into your OpenAI to get the key. If you haven't created one there, you have to create it and then paste it in here. Once your account is linked up, then you can go ahead and put in your project brief and then click on save. You can also choose the model. You can see the models that are available there. In this video, I'm not going to be going into those details, but I did want to point out that the Pine Grow editor does have some AI capabilities, which I think can also speed up your work, depending on the circumstances. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. Again, I thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. I hope you found something useful, and I'll talk to you soon.
If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.